In this video we will show you how to repair an LG Flattron W2753V 27 inch LCD monitor. This one came into our shop. Um, customer stated that when you tried to power it up um, you either did not get a display and power indication at all. Um, sometimes if you let it sit for you know, 10 to 15 minutes you would eventually get a power on and a picture on the unit. Uh, so we're about to show you how to take the unit apart, do the repair on it, and get the unit back up where it's fully functional. Um, of course, the first thing you need to do is remove the base to the unit, uh, the power cord, and the signal cable so that we can get down to just the basic unit that we're going to be working on. You want to turn it over. On the back side, there is two screws. We need to remove those. They're standard Phillips screws. Set those screws to the side. We will need those in a few moments. Uh, now you need to turn the unit back over again. I need to remove the front panel, the front bezel on the unit. Um, the easiest way to do that is if you start on one of the edges, um, lift it up with your fingers and kind of flex it a little bit, and the little catches, the little release tabs will start releasing. So you move to the back. release a couple of them across the back. Then you can get to the corners once you have one side and one corner released. And kind of okay. We can work our way the rest of the way around the unit. Now when you get to the front panel need to be careful because there is a control panel in it. So if we just want to lift from both sides and work our way across. And I want to leave that uh, bezel on the unit. Like I said, we have to turn it over to get where we can unplug that front control panel. So we want to turn the entire unit over. Now we can re remove the back cover, set it to the side. Now we can unplug that front control panel and we don't have to worry about breaking any of those interconnects. Okay, the next thing we'll need to do is remove the RF shielding on the side that covers the backlight plugs and then we'll need to remove where we get to the power supply board. So to get this part, if you lift up on the edges here a little bit and then it's going to need here and here. There's also some latches. So if you have enough fingernails, you can lift it up. If not, a little flat blade screwdriver slid underneath there, and then the RF shield will come off. Now you're going to see seven backlight plugs. They have a little squeeze connector on them, so you have to squeeze the plug and then remove it. So we'll remove all of those. Now there's two screws that hold the electronics assembly in. They're located across the bottom. We'll remove those. And then there's two pieces of RF shielding tape. One across the bottom and one on the corner. And just peel those back from the electronics. Then you can lift this up. Now you don't want to lift it up all the way because underneath you see the signal cable. It needs to be unplugged from the panel. On both ends of that there are little squeeze connectors so you squeeze in gently on both ends and then the plug will disconnect. Now we can turn the power supply and control electronics over to get to that power board that we're going to be doing the repair work on. To get it out there is four screws on the four corners. On these two connectors, there is little RF shield spacers that go in, and they just lift right out. Now we can get to the board. 
Now if you notice, there's power cables that go out both sides of the board. This side closest to the control electronics. If you remove the grouping of cables from its little clip, it will allow you to lift up the power supply board enough that you can get to the power plugs and disconnect them. Um, on this side, again, it's a squeeze type connector, so you squeeze in the two end pieces and work that cable loose. Then you can turn it over. And we can remove this cable. It is not a squeeze connector. You just have to pull on it. Just work it from one end to the other. And then it will come loose. And then the actual AC input is again a squeeze connector, so you squeeze it and unplug it. Here's the power supply board that we'll be doing the repair work on. There is a couple of very visible uh, capacitors that have failed. So we're going to replace the uh, capacitors on the board and see if we can get this unit back up and running again. Uh, let's go over to the soldering station and see if we can get it going.